Hi, it's Richard from EnvisionSelfHealing.com and in this video we're going to show you the tennis ball massage on your back. So you're going to use two tennis balls to massage your whole back. Uh, so you're going to need, uh, you could actually do this on a carpet, we've got a yoga mat and we're here at the School for Self-Healing deck. We've got Will here. Hello everyone, welcome to another video, nice to see you all again. And we put our yoga mat down on the deck here, and Will's going to get down with his two tennis balls. Get down. Get down. With the tennis balls. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay. So, uh, a quick word about the tennis balls. Try and have them as soft as possible if they're too hard. Um, it could maybe be a little bit painful. Thirdly, um, we're never putting the tennis balls on any bone. If you see our foot massage with tennis ball video and our leg, uh, massage with tennis ball video. We're both, in all of those, we're trying to avoid direct contact on bone and um, the idea of this is to help relieve some tension in the muscles because you're having counter pressure. So, because we obviously have a nice big bone going up the back here known as uh, the spine or the vertebrae, we do not want to be putting tennis balls on that whatsoever. So we want to make sure that they're either side of the, t uh, of the spine. So, they're going to be around here, and then we're going to progressively work our way up the back, either side, okay? So, you will put the, uh, put the tennis balls at the base of the spine, not on the sacrum, not on your, the back of the pelvis, uh, but either side, and then gently lay down. Now, I don't know how easy it's going to be for you to see this, but that's a beautiful day. Um, and you're just letting the pressure and you want to breathe nice and steady and nice and deep and you want to let those muscles relax. How's that feel? For me, the lower back, this isn't too bad because uh, of my lordosis. So it's oh, right. Bad. Anyway, so one thing you can do... Lordosis is sway back, by the way. ...is raise your leg up and hold your knee on one side and you can do the other side and then those that are a bit more adventurous you can hold both now there's obviously more um, variations to this but we're just going to go through the basic ones uh, to show you so then once you've done that you want to take the two push your hips up take the two tennis balls either side of the vertebrae and move them higher up on the lower back. Now for myself and for most people that I've worked with, um, the higher you go, the more pain it tends to be because of the tension. So again, we let it sit, relax, take some deep breaths, and then when you feel you're ready, you can raise the one leg up. Again, you wanna hold, take a few deep breaths, change to the other leg. and then both legs. So you're getting a nice amount of pressure. Now I'm really starting to feel that going down my, uh, going down my spine, especially on those erector spinous muscles that run up the back. And then we move up. Now you can do this as slow as you like. You can do it um, inch by inch. We're just gonna do it relatively quickly for sake of time. So now we're moving more up to just below the scapula on the mid-back. And I don't know whether you can see the balls there. Oh, yeah. Either side of the spine, a bit more pressure now. Notice that I'm not moving. Some people like to maybe move up and down. To begin with, I strongly suggest you just let it sink in. For some of us, it's so painful that, uh, that it's very difficult for us to move anyway. So then again, oh, and now I'm starting to really feel this tennis balls in the back. This is great for people that snore, by the way, helps relax the back up. It's also, a lot of us get a lot of pain in the upper back. It doesn't mean that you should only do the tennis balls in the upper back, because if the lower back releases, then the upper back is gonna release as well. So make sure you do the whole back, even if you only have pain in one area. Now we've done the lower part of the back, we're now going to move to the upper part. So it's going in between 
the shoulder blade in the upper back, you can see there, and this time the variations are going to be lifting the hips up towards the sky or the ceiling or what have you, and that's having that extra pressure on the tennis balls. Again, you don't have to do this, take these as stages. Another stage is to take your hand and move them round ten times in each direction. So interlace the fingers and move them in a nice big circle in each direction. Take the tennis balls, move it to the upper part of the scapula, right in between the back and again rest into the position. Feel the, uh, the pressure and try to breathe and allow the muscles to relax and you can maybe visualize that the uh, tennis balls are melting like butter into the muscles or any visualization that helps and then when you're ready and again you don't have to do this but if you decide to you can push the hips up feel the pressure I'm really feeling that on my just behind the scapula where my right hand is quite the back is tight where I hold the mouse on the computer and then you can relax down and move your arms in those circular rotations again about ten times in each direction to whatever it is that you feel is good or you can move your arm up and down like snow angels which we don't tend to get a lot of here in San Francisco and now the final one is to place it up just behind your traps, the trapezia, and you apply the pressure. And I don't really feel this that much until I push up with the hips. Oh, and now I feel that press in, I can feel an increased blood flow to my head where it's relieving that tension that's in those muscles that's stopping it from getting to my head. And as a final stage, you can hold your elbows and rotate round in a circle. So, there you have it. That is the uh, tennis balls with the back. And uh, take it pretty easy with this one. Don't go uh, too hard too soon. Um, and after some time, you'll adjust to it and people really start enjoying these tennis balls again. Very cheap and uh, you'll feel great afterwards and a lot of people work this into their daily routine as a, as a good deep tissue massage and just for general relief of aches and pains. So give this exercise a go and happy healing.